Hello everyone and welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is an all to play two games that are going to be coming up for you and I have Nikhil bhai with me today to preview both games and this is the first preview of the day. How are you doing Nikhil bhai and how do you look at this game which is going to be virtually a knockout for West Indies and Ireland? Yes, thank you so much again for having me or uh, I think for a change my uh, mood change ho gaya I'm starting to play more SLs but that is because hmm. I'm backing safe guys to do better, and uh, ये हमने पहले भी बात करी थी कि ये tournament risk के लिए अभी नहीं लग रहा है team बहुत ज़्यादा mm. risk ले रही है तो आप उनके साथ risk ना लो uh, mm. you can back the key performers and then they'll do well so far it has worked out let's mm. see what happens in the coming games but yeah massive game for both sides uh, lots to prove for both both were saved by individual brilliances Aljari Joseph here Curtis Camper there. But uh, they'll need to hit a hit as a team. I think Scotland and other teams also. Even Namibia was out because hmm. they alone can't win you every game. You yes. need other heroes to step up. So let's see who does that in this game. Yes, totally. And uh, before we get to the game, there were a lot of lot of information regarding rain. But as per the latest update that we have, weather seems to be clear. So that's not that doesn't seem like it's going to be party pooper for the West Indies. But yes, on that note, let's get to first up the venue conditions for this game. So yes, this game is going to be played at Hobart, and I will quickly present to you the ground dimensions for Hobart. So, like you can see here, again, it's pretty even on all sides except for that one short boundary, and that yeah. and basically the way the pitch has been playing across Geelong and. Hobart has been similar, where it's been better for the guys who have been batting first. And ironically, many teams that have won tosses have not really gone on to win games. Yeah, which is again just tells you why you need to do well. Jo bhi aap pehle karo, better karo. Mm. Or uh, Benu ka humne baat kara average score. We have discussed right through the World Cup reviews. It's around 170, 175. Uh, bat as Virendra said, batting first is one more game because. We talked about it. Pitches haven't been like a road. They've been hmm. easier for bowlers to stack up and take a lot of wickets in the second innings also. So here, when we usually think of T20s, we try and load up our team with first inning bowlers. But that's not something that we can afford here. You need to have yes. a mix of both Balance. bowlers from first innings and second innings. Yes, absolutely. So it's hopefully going to be a good and balanced team that's going to be set out to you. So let's look at the base team first, post which we'll discuss our GL options. So yes, we have our base team for this specific game. And before I peep into that base team, you can see captain and vice captain are pretty safe. Keep in mind that we are previewing this on the last day of the fan to play dip. So go ahead and make that best deposit because the iPhone and the other prizes are waiting for you. And why? Because once you deposit that cash, you can use it in the T20 World Cup leaderboard where the prizes only get one step bigger. So download the app right now from the link in the description. And yes, on that maybe fiery note of getting to that car soon, we'll get to this specific base team. Yes, and uh, I'm sure you all saw those smart integrations, which is why Virin sir was smiling so much. Which is again a good, good step towards getting into a better space. But yes, uh, base team something that has benefited a lot. And its our aim is that you give our visualization, de, but its hmm. on your input is necessary. You can make minor changes, change captain or vice captain, and then that can work wonders. It's already worked for people, which is why we're trying to segmentize this into a format where okay, you get what you want to, and then you make the most of it. Yes, totally. Making Visa captain work quite a bit. And finally, and thankfully, a differential captain actually ended up working. So, yes, hopefully that is the time to come where skill is actually going to have a lot of importance apart from select percent. But yeah. yes, uh, this is the section where Nikhil Bhai insisted that he wanted three keepers and five batters. But uh, we had some differences there and we have gone only with one keeper in Johnson Charles. Who again from whatever little bit of you know of my Twitter, it might not be my choice. So Nikhil Bai will elaborate. Yeah, I mean his options were Nicholas Puran. So <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should say anything else. And 
but see jokes apart this is probably a game where you don't want to take any batter uh, or any keeper which is why that sarcasm came first it but the point is this is how i think the tournament has shaped up so far if you hmm. see not many openers have got going uh, because new ball wickets have fallen and it's only select few who have batted long george hmm. mantle did that once but he wasn't as his fluent best patu misanga did once so that is the odd exception there but max odar did once so you see there are there haven't been enough instances aur hobart ke bare mein ek baat aapko bata do yahan pe usually aap dekhe ek opener bada khelta hai ab aaj wo kaun sa opener hoga humne pand liya hai ke charles baba shayad wo kaam kar le to wo ek karan hai emil lewis is then batting different order so all of that you know not enough match practice for him which is that we've gone with two guys who mm-hmm. have looked okay that is and john powell. charles yeah. rodman powell and george dockrell finally came good i think uh, he's better batter now but i also mm-hmm. expect him to bowl a bit uh, not too much maybe two overs but differential player ho jayega aapka kyunki niche khelta hai and we are expecting wickets up top so which is why dockrell is there in the base team right absolutely so the three guys that we have picked are purely based on form with no disrespect to any other player maybe it's two teams coming up against each other who are totally out of form in terms of batting so maybe it's the day for all the batters to cash in because that's how it has been in the world cup till now so yes yeah. if you feel like any other batters maybe evan because he's batting up top or paul sterling because his experience can come good you can make those choices but these are choices made by us purely based on form and yes along with john dockrell who knows even roman powell can open instead of kyle mills with the way the west indies bowling has been and that's the bowling there <laughs> <laughs> that's how just 2020 things Yes, then the section where we have packed it up quite a bit. The all-rounders: Kyle Mears, Jason Holder, Curtis Camphor, and Simi Singh. So we have gone purely based on form. Jason Holder has looked very good with the ball and with the bat too against Scotland. I think he was pretty stable. Uh, Kyle Mears, who, if you want to take a chance, you can take a chance here because you can see we have gone with two West Indian bowlers. If you want to take a third in Obed or Akil, or uh, then that is worth the choice for you to make because. still we don't know if kyle is going to open the bowling after that last showing but looking at the insistence and rigidity while that might be possible it totally is on you whether you want to back form and guys who are going to bowl more overs or you want to back someone who's going to open the batting plus open the bowling yes and again if you see one of the logic uh, of uh, keeping mess ye bhi tha ki bhai uh, you don't have ireland openers exactly in their best form and yeah. kyle mills does get swing Yes, he hasn't taken any wicket in the power play in the first over so far. But you know when he takes, it will rain. He'll take four wickets, uh, like he did in the CPL. But again, it's a risk that you can take and afford to not take as well. What you could possibly do is, if batting first, if you feel conditions are good enough for little Camphor and Adair to take him out, then you can completely drop him. Because if he takes one wicket, then he will not be so costly as he did in the first bowling. हाँ आपका नसीब बहुत अच्छा होगा कि आपने उसे ड्रॉप किया और वो चार विकेट ले जाए सेकंड इनिंग्स में क्योंकि उस 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 टाइम पे तो फिर आयरलैंड को हार जाना चाहिए तो अगर वैसा हो रहा है तो Yes, and just for the record, along with not taking a wicket in the power play in the first over, he's also not taken any wicket in, in any T20 international till now. So yes, just to clear that. Now both guys, this five wicket all is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe this is this video is a good luck charm for him. and then the yeah. bowlers we have gone alzari odin alzari based on form obviously odin is bowling important overs yet and maybe he'll come out with a bat too mark adair again based on form and josh little also based on form and yes mark adair also can bat so maybe grand league vice captaincy choice for you bilkul i think do cheezo pe main touch karunga odin smith ko lene ka simple reason ye hai ke wo end overs mein dal rahe hain jaisa humne pichle game mein dekha रन पड़ रहे हैं बट ही स्टिल बोलिंग एंड गेटिंग यू की विकेट सिकंदर आजा का विकेट तो उन्होंने लिया तो ही स्टिल बीइंग बैंड डाउन एज ए विकेट टेकिंग बोलर ओबेद भी बोलिंग कर रहा है मुझे ऐसा पसंद नहीं लगता है कि अगर विकेट में होल्ड हो तो ओबेद इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन फॉर यू टू ट्राई आउट बिकॉज मे बी हिल टेक दोज विकेट अप फ्रंट एंड नॉट लीव टू मच फॉर ओडियन सो दैट इज अ कॉल दैट यू कैन टेक आई डोंट थिंक जोसफ पे आपको कोई भी डाउट होगा एज फॉर आयरलैंड आई थिंक बैरी मकारी हैजन हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम Uh, so Mark Adair, Joshua Little, and Camphor—they are three enough choices. 
I just hope Andy Burberry makes the better or the smarter calls with bowlers because Camper last game bowled just two overs. It makes no sense that if that person is good, then you should give him two or not two just because of your pre-match plan that Barry only has to bowl a fourth. He went for over 50 in this fourth over. So uh, nothing against any particular bowler. I just feel whoever works best on that day, who we have already discussed earlier, you should have back it. And here, uh, on Simi Singh, you will have a little doubt. There are enough. I mean, spin nets trouble West Indies enough. So I think I'll just leave it there. Mm. Yeah, and they also have a line of left-handers, so it might be one risk too many to take. So because they have lost a lot of wickets in the middle overs too, so we have just yeah. not taken a chance. So yes, that is the sum up of our base team, and you have a lot of options and a lot of scenarios to try to. So now we have the section where Nikhil Bai will tell you his. one grand league pick and maybe i'll go first today because i fear i might take my option oh that so yeah i feel like he might steal my option today so i'll go first my option for this game is akil hosain if he's bowling second nah. <laughs> very clear evan lewis uh i think whenever there is any bit of doubt over uh, evan i think he comes up with a massive performance Uh, and an important game. There is a reason why he's playing even without that game time. I mean, you know, otherwise they could have easily started in somebody else. So I think Evan Lewis could be a great option. Uh, probably batting first more than batting second, but hmm. might work out in any which scenario. So AK is a team I'm looking to try. Right, and for me, Akil Hosain, 15 yeah. plus runs and two wickets if he's bowling second. 15 plus runs. This means AK outside is also bound to be ready. No problem. We just need the points, but and yes, and the bonus on, of the boundary. Yeah, and the bonus of the boundary. <laughs> but yes, on that note, we'll sum up this specific preview. We hope you all enjoyed it and you got all the insights that you need. Please do share this preview with as many people as possible, yes. and do tune in for the next preview because I realize many of you watched the first one and then get busy with work, so don't watch the second one. So please watch the second preview too. Thank you so much for tuning in. बिल्कुल हैव अ गुड गेम हैप्पी विनिंग्स